Welcome, Kaushik, uh, to our discussion today. And uh, we have with uh, us uh, Kaushik Ayer. Kaushik is currently pursuing his uh, Master's of Engineering in Computer Science at Cornell University. Uh, just to give you a brief introduction, Kaushik graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer engineering from KJ Somaya College of Engineering, Mumbai. Um, he graduated in 2024 and immediately started his master's at Cornell. So Kaushik, uh, now and uh, for all those who are not aware, the Cornell program is a one year, uh, in fact, two semesters, right? It's a two semester program yes. uh, that Kaushik would be graduating sometime in May. Uh, Am I right, Kaushik? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, having started your master's uh, last August and would be graduating in May 2025, uh, I'm sure you must have started your job search uh, by now. So, can you share your experiences of how your job search is going, given the current scenario in the US, uh, the job markets and all that? So, I think one of the main advice is that uh, prof uh, professors, alumni, everybody, I mean, this is a fact as of now is that we have to start early as early as possible. Okay. So I implemented that and I started in August itself. Mm -hmm. I've done close to 250 applications till now, okay. but uh, this is a learning curve in itself. Like my first application, uh, the quality of that is not at all good compared to my latest application. So you learn by applying. And, um, the thing is that since I'm, this is still quite early, uh, some, a lot of the startups or small companies do not hire people this soon. Okay. Only, uh, only the university graduate programs of big companies, uh, actually hire this soon. So, so I've not have had much luck in responses till now, but, uh, the main thing that everyone has to do is to start early. Apart from that, Cornell does provide a lot of resources. Like we have a lot of workshops or even dedicated courses as to how do we professionally develop ourselves, do networking and all of that. And it also provides a handshake portal where companies actually put in job openings just for Cornell students. They're, like, they're looking for us. So the university also helps in this way. So out of the 250 kind of applications that you have made, um, have you got any interview calls so far or not yet? Um, I've, I've got two interview calls so far and I've got a few more online assessments as well. Okay. So there has been some response, although it's not like yeah. there's absolutely no response. Okay. Mm. Uh, and being a fresher, I mean, being coming to Cornell straight out of your bachelor's program without, uh, having worked in India for maybe a year or two. Uh, do you think that has in some way, I mean, is that a disadvantage or you feel that is in some way an advantage uh, compared to the other students uh, who probably might, some of your classmates might have come with uh, a year or two of working in India. So how do you compare yourself there and what do you feel is your position in that case? So the range of experiences I'd say is like there are a lot of people who just like me came straight from their bachelors and there are people who have like four to five years of experience as well along with me. Mm -hmm. So in terms of job search, uh, I think I am at a disadvantage. The more the experience you have, you get to apply for non entry level jobs and the, the job market, the negative job market in US is majorly only for entry level jobs. If you look for two or three years of experience, it is still quite comparatively easier to get a job. Okay. So in, in your class, I mean, has anybody so far uh, managed to secure a job offer? Your batch? In my batch, no. That you know of? No. no not yet. Mm -hmm, no. No. Uh, and how was the job uh, offers for the previous uh, batch? I mean, the batch that graduated, are you in touch with them or was it like uh, by the time you joined, they had already graduated being a one year program? So, uh, so in Cornell, there are actually two intakes. There's a spring okay. uh, intake as well. So they are, they just graduated last week. Right. So I'm in touch with them. Uh -huh. So there uh, also a lot of people do not have jobs as of now, okay. but uh, more. Everyone is optimistic that by the time they finish their OPT period, 
uh, they will get a job because uh, hire uh, there are hiring seasons and december is not a very friendly month and a lot of job openings pick up in jan and feb so people are optimistic oh okay and um, how does the ivy league tag i mean cornell being an ivy league do you think that has had any major impact in the job search at cornell or it's kind of the same where well, would would you be in the similar situation or i mean of course it's a difficult question to answer but do you think that ivy league tag has helped you in some way or is going to help uh, you in some way? i definitely think it does help because the more than the tag it's about the network like we we've, we've been taught a lot to use linkedin and ways to use it so the thing is i'll give you an example so to almost every job that i apply to if i look search up that company in linkedin i always have cornell alumni to whom i can reach out for referrals or advice or anything i mean a lot of times they do not respond but many uh, times they do and i actually out of the two interviews one interview which i did land was because i spoke to a cornell alumni so i think the network really does help okay so more than the brand name it's you're saying at this moment it's the cornell network that is kind of uh, in some way helping you with the with your job search yes all right um and for students who plan to come not just to cornell but to the us in say 2025 fall uh, mm. any anything that you would like to tell them any words of uh, advice that you would like to give <clears throat> um i'd i'd like to uh, say that um it is definitely very uh, hard to get a job as compared to previous years mm. but i'd like to say uh, that if you are genuinely interested in the course that you're posting or uh whatever career that you want to be that it uh, then it is still a very good choice mm-hmm. to pursue a masters but only if you are actually interested okay so um, and and probably i mean let me put it in a very ask you in a very candid way if um, maybe i'm sure some of your juniors from college who are currently in their final year might have reached out to you yes. what would you tell them i mean come in 2025 or probably work for a few years and then come to the us so what would be your advice very candid advice on that um yeah uh, they have uh, reached out to me and the yeah so my advice is that if you can have some experience it is always good to come with a year or two of experience but again everyone has their own personal paths i had my own reasons sure. uh but uh, yeah only if you are it's not a straight Uh, or a guaranteed way to get a job or uh, settle in the USA that is very hard. Uh, come be- only if you are uh, if you like what you are going to study and if you are actually interested. That's what I'll say. Okay. And, and do you think before coming to the US, uh, any kind of added preparation can help? Is there something that you would recommend? That something probably which you did or probably which you thought you should have done before. coming to the us maybe in the few months that you get after your mm. you know before you come to the us there are few months of uh, break that you have generally i mean you are either if you are working not then but if you are in college you still get a month or two of time to you know do something so do you think there is something that you should do say like working on the resume or start mm. job search because someone i was talking to said that some students actually started their job search or internship search while they were in india itself right so starting the networking while you are in india or maybe taking up some additional courses anything specific that you have in mind that you would recommend so starting a job search is a very good thing but uh, even i did start when i was in india but there are a lot of things that don't go my way such as like my email id or my phone number or the address that i gave out those are all indian stuff so you there's a very less chance that you actually get something but it's a it's a as i said it's a learning curve so you could start but apart from that i think what i could have done or should have done is that uh, at least in the sphere of computer science uh, work on some personal projects do something that's not just your academic degree so that is something that you don't have to wait to come to the us to do that uh, so work on personal projects that builds your resume that makes you understand what you are actually going to do in a real world and people appreciate it because you did something out of your way and it shows genuine interest oh, okay okay uh, that's all kaushik from my side um is there anything specific that you would like to add um 
um no no not not right now no. okay so thanks a lot kaushik for um, your time and your inputs um, and mm. uh, wish you the very best with your job search and we'll stay in touch yes i wish everyone who's aiming to come to usa uh, like best of luck to them as well okay thank yeah. you thank you